right, so we are here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. This is actually the first time I've been to a Six Flags Park since 2011, but we got a really cheap season pass here where uh, it basically was like 70 bucks, barely more expensive than a regular ticket. So we're gonna go check things out. They have an RMC here, which I'm really excited. It's probably the first thing we're gonna do, but we'll be heading into the park really soon and checking out all this and plus all the marine life that they have as well and all the animals. I just got off Joker and it's my third RMC I've done so far and well I wouldn't say it's just as good as Steel Avengers or Iron Gwazi those are quite clearly much better but it's still an incredible ride it's just like any RMC it's actually considered the least probably people's least favorite RMC but still it still packs quite a punch now these operations here not surprising being in a Six Flags Park they're pretty damn slow. So it took forever to actually get onto it. And Aaron's getting on it right now. So hopefully it won't be too long before we can get on some other cool rides around here. Aaron just got off Joker. So her second RMC, other one being Iron Gwazi. What do you think, Aaron? Uh, it was very smooth. Uh, I think Iron Gwazi was probably a little bit smoother, but it was very smooth. I have no complaints about that. Uh, the first drop, was kind of a drop and twist and I was not expecting that. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? That was really cool. Um, the lady behind me was screaming like her life was in danger <laughs> the entire time, which really elevated the experience. Where, but, were, uh, where were you sitting? Second to last row. Second to last, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got a back row ride myself, which is always the best. And next we'll be doing Batman, which is an SNS free spin. I've actually never done one of these. I know they're all over Six Flags parks, but I've actually never been on one before, so we'll see how this is. So that was my first SNS free spin, like I just mentioned, and that was actually really awesome. I know most people either love or hate those things. I can see why, because they do flip you a decent amount. I only got one flip, but everything else got a lot of airtime on it. So it was really awesome otherwise. But glad to do it. Um, I'm obviously, I'm gonna go to other Six Flags parks where hopefully, the, and a lot of them have them there too. Discovery Kingdom is filled with animal exhibits. A nice, pleasant surprise when I was just expecting thrill rides. So this is really unique for a Six Flags park especially, where they have a bunch of animals here. We just saw the stingrays and the penguins, and I think I saw they have cheetah, and I think I heard giraffe as well, which, yeah. This is the only Six Flags parks, to my knowledge, that has this. Actually, in New Jersey, uh, Great Adventure, they have a safari park, so I guess that would be the only other one. But regardless, very unique for here. Continuing with the animal exhibits, there is a really neat butterfly garden. Another unique thing where there are just butterflies everywhere in the rainforest trail. Not what you would expect at the Six Flags Park once again, so that was actually really neat. So butterflies, like I said, they're everywhere. Up next is Superman, which is a premier ride Skyrocket 2. It's actually the very first one, and we did this not too long ago at Busch Gardens Tampa with Tigris. Big difference is, this does not have those stupid comfort collars. So we'll be able to actually just enjoy this with just a lap bar. I just got off B2, which is actually kind of a rare one to get on. I hear it doesn't run all that often, but it's a Intimate Impulse shuttle coaster, and it was awesome. It's unlike most of them where it ends up actually, hold on, I'm going by right now. Unlike most where it just goes up a tower and twist, or like Wicked Twister at Cedar Point where it has twists on both sides, it actually has a horizontal 45 degree twist on the other end. It's really bizarre, but really cool. <laughs> Just got done with the Medusa, and that's a good B&M Floris roller coaster. 
Very similar to Kraken at SeaWorld, except it's a little rougher, but the layout's really similar. So good ride. Um, might do it again later if we've got time. <laughs> All right, well, that's a wrap here at Discovery Kingdom. My first time here, and I don't know when I'll be back, to be honest, considering we're moving quite far away. But what do you think of it, Erin? It was good. There were some good rides. Um, the thrill rides were pretty good. Uh, I don't know, I'm a little underwhelmed, but I haven't fully settled and processed my thoughts yet. Yeah, for me, the operations were, quite frankly, horrible. Everything takes forever <laughs> to dispatch. And when you have uh, some attractions that are pretty low capacity to begin with, it means some lines that don't look that long are actually pretty lengthy because it just crawls. Sadly, I only got one ride on everything, including I wanted to get a second ride on Joker, but couldn't get another ride on that. But hey, got, got one at least. Uh, still a good RMC. Definitely out of the three I've ridden, it's my least favorite, but still really good. But that's a wrap here. And we're gonna go get some in and out.